Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Bed Surgery at Dean's. So today I welcome you to the last class of pre-anesthetics. We will be studying opioids. Okay, let us go to the class. Before going to the class, this is some formalities. Please subscribe to this channel. There will be a subscribe button. And also you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I will be opening a telegram account very soon. I will let you know. Okay, through which I will share all the notes which I have gathered over a period of time. Now, first of all, introduction to the opioids. They are derived from the poppy plant, papaverum, somniferum. Okay, this is the name of the plant. They are the best analgesics. Okay, because they cut down the pathway. I will discuss the mechanism. You see, there is two way you can reduce the pain. Suppose here, usually the pain is associated with inflammation. Though there is some pain which, in which there won't be inflammation, but most of the it is through inflammation. Here is inflammation and through nerve endings it will be perceived by the brain okay so how you can reduce pain you can reduce the inflammation in which there will be reduction in pain or you can cut down the pathway okay so the anti-inflammatory drugs work in here but the opioids act here okay and they are more potent than the SAIDG the only disadvantage is they are, their duration of action is very very less we will discuss in pharmacokinetics also so they are the best analgesics till today they are still the best the mimic the naturally occurring endogenous opioid peptides which usually produced by the body or uh, uh, the animal body which is produced in the cns and also some glands like the pituitary gland or the adrenal gland they secret this eop endogenous opioid peptide there are three kinds of opioids we will discuss the pure agonists like morphine, oxymorphone, butyrmorphone, uh, hydromorphone, partial agonist, buprenorphine, agonist antagonist is butrophenol. Okay, so we will discuss all of them. This is the mechanism of some that directly inhibit the ascending transmission. Okay, this is the ascending transmission. They, they will go through the here, the, there will be spinal cord. Okay, I already discussed the pain pathway, the spinal pathway. The ascending transmission of nociceptive information from the dorsal horn of spinal cord so they, they block this neural pathway okay they does not reduce the inflammation they only block the pathway okay next L let us know something about the receptor okay coming to the receptors of opioids there are four kinds of receptor the mu opioid pep peptide mop or simply the mu receptor kop kappa opioid peptide simply kappa receptor similarly delta and there is another one also the nociceptin opioid receptor NOP okay so the functions and most of the functions of opioid are mediated by the mu receptors most of the systemic effects and the, the profound analysis which is the feature of opioid is mediated by the mu receptor they are three types mu1 mu2 and uh, mu3 you don't need to remember the subtypes but you should know it next second is kappa receptor through which there is only analgesic no systemic effects the sub receptors are 1a 1b 2 and 3 four subtypes delta and nociceptive they are very their effect is very very minimal the delta opioids are for a mild analgesia very very mild analgesia the nociceptive opioid peptide or the nociceptin okay they are basically act against the opioid the anti opioid activity of this nop so important one is mu and the kappa these two are the very important receptors of uh, the opioids through which they defect uh, the give produce this systemic effects and also the analysis most important is the mu receptors next this is the systemic effects uh, we study in foreheads remember the introduction the mechanism of action the pharmacodynamics pharmacokinetics okay so this is pharmacodynamics it's systemic effects first one the important one is cns effects you see in different species it produces different kind of action like it will cause cns depression in case of dog and monkey while it cause cns excitation in cat in exams you may find the which of the following opioids causes excitation in cats one of the options will be morphine okay this is the opioid which causes excitation in cat okay but remember when you give morphine in 
singly only morphine is given it causes excitation suppose you add morphine with alpha 2 agonist like xylazine you may not find this excitation okay so all the systemic effects are basically when the opiates given alone okay not in combining with other agents next the thermoregulatory uh, center the in this species where it will cause excitation it will cause hypothermia like cat horse ruminant and pig in which there will be depression there will be hypothermia like dog next the emetic uh, center they cause nausea and vomiting in case of dog and cat by uh, stimulating the crt test, that is chemo receptor trigger zone crt is present in medulla you may not uh, find vomiting in case of horse ruminant pig and rabbit this is varies according to species cough center it depresses the cough reflex that is why you can intubate the animal okay you can pass the endotracheal tube next the pupillary diameter where the produce excitation there will be mitriasis the constriction of pupil when the species there where it produces serious depression it will cause meiosis that is dilation of pupil next respiratory system the the reason why the opioids are usually avoided is because of effect on the respiratory system they cause pulmonary depression dose dependent pulmonary depression that is why they are not much of popularly used but nowadays butrophenol which is causes minimal uh, respiratory system effects they are now getting popular or they are used mostly in veterinary medicine the effect is more profound in anesthetic patient this is the article okay so if you are administering one opioid to already anesthetized patient or honestly already anesthetized dog or cat you may find this respiratory effect more profoundly if you are giving to a conscious patient which is basically active you may not find this effect okay but you may find some degree of respiratory depression next is cardiovascular system this is cardiovascular system it has very minimal effect on cardiovascular system in fact uh, except the morphine and mepridine remember this one these two are exceptions when given intravascularly okay when you will administer these two drugs intravenously religious histamine okay histamine causes vasodilation and the hypotension these two effects or uh, the effects of histamine so remember these two exceptions morphine and mepridine that is why these two drugs are not administered intravenously they are administered intramuscularly next systemic effects the gastrointestinal system these effects are much more profound when the opiates are continued for a chronic period or when you are managing a chronic pain you have to give the opiates for longer duration of time when you give it for longer duration of time these effects are more profound constipation in case of dog and cat colic in horses tympani and ruminants all because of reduction in the motility intestinal motility will be reduced that is why they produce these effects okay so these effects is more profound is profound when opiates are used for chronic pain or when opiates are used for a chronic period of time next is urogenital system urinary irritation because they reduce the contractility of detrusor muscles detrusor muscle which are responsible for urinary contraction and also they reduce the urge or sensation to pee or sensation to urinate okay so these are the systemic effects now coming to the pharmacokinetics okay we will go by each one drug okay first one is morphine very very efficacious more one of the very good painkillers available morphine most efficacious okay and remember the side effects i already told you histamine release after intravenous administration the duration is in 3 to 4 hour it can also be given epidurally where it has very long period of analgesia that is 12 to 24 hours these are the doses you can take a screenshot or you can pause the video and you can know the dose right i am not going to tell okay it will take more time unnecessarily next the oxymorphone and the hydromorphone this is oxymorphone hydromorphone they both are same like the morphine the action is same like morphine and these are the dose rate dog and cat usually they are used in dog and cat you see these all these species they have used here i have not given the dose rate of ruminant swine because effective dose rate are yet to be established in these species okay according to articles next we will go for mepridine mepridine i already told it has some uh, when given intravenously it will release histamine leading to the vasodilation and the uh, vasodilation and the hypotension 
So, it, and another two properties, it has some local anesthetic property also when given locally and also it causes some alpha 2 agonist. It acts on the, the alpha 2 receptors to produce some effects. The duration of is 1 hour, usually less than the morphine and in case it has been used in dog and cat, the dose rate is given here. Next is fentanyl. Fentanyl, uh, if you do not know, our in our college, anesthetic protocol was devised in which the fentanyl was used. Okay, fentanyl. It has excellent cardiovascular stability among all the, the what I am talking about the morphine, oxymorphone, hydromorphone, mepridine, fentanyl, alpha fentanyl, sufentanyl, and carfentanyl. They are all pure agonist. First category I told pure agonist, then uh, uh, pure uh, jo partial agonist, then the anta agonist antagonist. These are pure agonists. So, they have excellent cardiovascular stability. The duration of action is very less 30 minute only it has been used in dog and cat and one of the product which causes uh, which contains this fentanyl is innovar bed this has been discontinued it also contains a butyrophenone is droperidol droperidol butyrophenone this is butyrophenone already discussed butyrophenone the alfentanyl sufentanyl and remifentanyl these are shorter than in the duration of action is shorter than the fentanyl and it has been dog used in dog and cat as CRI continuous rate infusion CRI okay next we will go for the methadone this is also a opioid methadone they have affinity for NMDA receptors okay can you uh, name one anesthetic which acts on NMDA receptors comment down below okay then uh, it has excellent oral absorption that is why it can be given orally it has been used in dog and cat. Next, etorphin and carfentanil. Etorphin and carfentanil, they are basically used in wild capturing for wild animals where they are combined with other drugs to produce the tranquilization or mild sedation. Okay, they are used in wild animals and uh, they are not basically used for analgesic but as tranquilization. One of the product, uh, immobilion, immobilion, which is used in wild animals for uh, capturing it contains etorphine and along with etorphine it contains i think um, i am forgetting triflupromazine or something phenothiazin group one phenothiazin group is there phenothiazin okay they are used for tranquilization okay next buprenorphine buprenorphine this is partial agonist partial agonist Okay, Be before this we are studying about pure agonist. Okay, this is partial agonist. The duration of action is 6 to 12 hours. It has been used in many species, dog, cat, horse, ruminant and swine. You see being the partial agonist, it has some less side effects. Okay, next, the most important one which has been uh, rampantly used in veterinary that is the butyrophenol. Sorry, the butyrphenol. Butyrphenol is the agonist antagonist. Agonist antagonist. Okay. What is agonist antagonist? Okay. They act as agonist and also antagonist. Due to, uh, you see, the morphines, the pure agonist and the partial agonist, they have side effects. So, scientists try to develop something in which there will be analgesic effects with the side effects, specifically the respiratory depression okay, and the CNS depression. That should be minimal. So, what they did, they modified the drug to produce the opioid like structure, but it has minimal sedation and the minimal respiratory suppression. But when they compromised with the minimal sedation of the CNS uh, depression and the respiratory depression, the analgesic effect was reduced. Okay, so they are used for mild to moderate pain. Mild to moderate pain. You see, I already told while uh, dealing with the pain, the opioids are basically used for moderate to severe pain. Okay, but the butyrophenol, which is agonist antagonist, they are basically used for mild to moderate pain. But when they are combined with the alpha 2 agonist like xylazine, they can produce a brilliant sedation analgesia. Okay, sedation analgesia. If you will go for the ABC program made by the Worldwide Veterinary Service, well, we were usually trained by that. 
so they use the butyrophenol and the xylazine the butyrophenol and xylazine combination for sedation then after they will give general anesthetic like propofol or ketamine for induction they have very good very good analgesi and sedation okay when the butyrophenol is combined with the xylazine the duration of action is very very less 1 to 3 hour this much is necessary for surgery okay the very rare surgeries you will find which takes 3 hours or 4 hours or more so this time is sufficient for the surgery and it has been used in many species dog cat horse swine and swine the dose rate are there you can note down next there is also some other agonist antagonist like the nalbupin and pentazosin they are not much of in use in veterinary but they have the same action like butyrophenol and they are used in dog and cat okay so this is all about the opioids that you need to know next we will be starting the general anesthetics if you like this video uh, please uh, like this video there is a like button also you can like this video and you can share with your fellows buddies seniors juniors or whatever we'll start general anesthetic from next class starting with the injectable anesthetic that is barbiturates starting from barbiturates then we will go for other general anesthetic till then see you tata bye bye take care